Hey guys, good afternoon. The time now is around 2 o'clock and I'm actually waiting for the bus. Yeah, it's not yet there, but he's on the Google map. It says that the bus will come in three minutes. So, oh yeah, it's coming now. So yeah, we will see you later. I'm actually going to the airport. So you know, this is my first time that he's passing in this uh, school. A lot of students here. Yeah, I didn't know this place. Normally, during the regular hours, the buses are not passing in this uh, way. But the time now is around uh, 2 o'clock and you know, some of these students are going, yeah, going home. So I just get down from that bus and this is basically the Newcastle Airport. You know, I, when I'm seeing this uh, Newcastle Airport, it feels like a uh, sister company of Dubai International Airport. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe because of the logo of this airport. Yeah, yeah not too much people here. This is just a domestic airport. It is now 3.25 and my flight will be at 6.45 so I still have uh, long hours. I will be just staying here inside. I am already inside the airport and just waiting for the timing for the flight. It's still uh, 4.30 and the flight will be at 6.45. Yeah, it's still long hours so I am going to do some editing. So I think I am going to be alone in this lane and there because at the moment it's already 6.40 uh, and it's still empty, yeah. Yeah, that was a very quick trip. It's less than an hour, less than one hour trip. Nice. And now I am here in the airport. We are so happy you're here. Me too. So at the moment I am here now outside, and this is basically the waiting area for the taxi, for the bus, things like that. And you're going to notice the big difference between the you know Australia and the Asian airport. Yeah, you know in Asia like. Uh, Thailand, Philippines. <laughs> when you get out of the airport, already a lot of people there. I mean, a lot of uh, taxi driver. They are asking you to ride to their to their car, to their taxi, or you know, yeah, they are offering any everything. Car, taxi, bunch. Yeah, they offer everything they have, and I'm looking for a place to stay. Yeah. Yeah, I just checked in uh, hotels.com and I found the one that is around 400 meters, 450 meters. Yeah, the name is YH Ale Kulangata. Yeah, somewhere here. <laughs> I didn't book in advance because I was thinking that I am going to find a cheap one. I hope to find a cheap one now. Yeah, basically Google Map is very big help because you know without the Google Map you cannot really find the place that you're looking for right away. This airport is not really a big airport. Mostly they are just catering for the Jet Star, which is for just a domestic flight. Yeah, there are some international flights, but the same company with Jet Star. So this is not like uh, Dubai International Airport where all the airplane all the airline comes and go yeah this one is not this is the same like Avalon Airport in Melbourne where mostly are Jetstar and Qantas I think Qantas yeah if you look at this empty no more people around you're going to be scared if you are here 
yeah i think this place is safe <laughs> like every other place in australia safe yeah people here sleep early no more people around in dubai in manila in thailand this place is still crowded a lot of people is still during this time you know another problem here in australia is that when you arrive late in a hotel or in a hostel normally you know the reception is closing at around nine o'clock and after that yeah you need to you need to inform the hostel or the hotel that you are coming late so that someone can assist you when you are coming yeah like this uh, backpacker hotel this is yha according to the uh, hotels.com they are closing at nine o'clock yeah I check on the hotels.com the price is only $35 per night but I don't know if I am if I am, if I am going to just walk in I don't know how much yeah look there's one guy there so this is the reception Good morning guys, so right now I'm here in the hostel, this is uh, Kulangata Youth Hostel, YHA, and this is basically the dining area, and this is what they have here, yeah, this is a nice table, this is like a kindergarten table, yeah, nice, and the same like other uh, hostel, they also have a place like this, so this is basically where you can put your food uh, basically those food that are not uh, going to spoil right away so those on the top those are free and the rest are owned by some occupants of this uh, guest house a computer area there is the kitchen where you can cook all these foods that we have they have and the lounge is there there is a big TV there, there is a relaxation area there and there is a you know, chatting area here an outdoor place yeah I stay in the room with the uh, with the 12 bed with, with 6 double decker bed I got that for 35 dollars one night stay and as you noticed yesterday i arrived here at around around seven eight o'clock yeah so at the moment the office is still closed you know i should uh, tell them that i am checking out early yeah because you know it's already good outside it's already good to walk around and we, you know my plan is to to walk from 